Hi everybody, and welcome to uh, part two on my uh, high rune things. <laughs> Obviously, we're still going to be using the rage runes because that's all we farmed so far. But today we're gonna, or right now we're gonna be working on our support for White Shadow Castle. It's gonna be Lulu. Uh, Lulu's gonna want a lot of HP, so just due to uh, their abilities, we still, I think we still need to get one skill point in them. So get that in there real quick. Up oh, six. Oh, we actually needed two more. Perfect. So, but they heal off thirty-seven point eight percent of their max HP. They also go uh, heal one person at thirty-seven point eight. Thirty-seven point eight percent of their max HP. So that's what we're going to be prioritizing for the sub stats and other irregular stats. We're going to be prioritizing resistance and evasion. We don't really care about accuracy at all. It's actually crazy that it's accuracy is at twelve percent right now, but. We're gonna try to not have any ac or as little accuracy as possible, um, and just want we really want HP percent, defense percent, resistance, and evasion. So let's get into it. Get all of this gone. That HP percent. Perfect. Um, we might farm more runes with it later, but right now we're just gonna... We have to get this done today. Uh, we're gonna like, pretty much grab anything we can here, because I do not care about the rune sets whatsoever. And if I do match rune sets, it just gives us more battle power, but that doesn't really matter, so... Keep that in mind when you're doing this kind of stuff. Uh, we got. We should have a bunch of HP percents there. Let's take a look at what we can find. Oh, try to close this up. Uh, let's make sure that let's get this uncluttered. Cluttered. So we'll just put HP percent right there. It gets it all uncluttered. Uh, we can get some nothing useful here. Nothing really that useful here, but if we have to, we have to. This one might not be bad. It has evasion and resist on it. I like this one more in all honesty than that one because the crit rate and accuracy just don't matter at all. So the stats are actually better in general. This defense percent evasion could be good. Uh, we're just going to look through them first. So that way we can actually see what we might want. Resistance one, resistance. Ooh. Uh, so far, I've liked this one the best, I think. Or what was the other one? This one's not bad, and this one's not bad. Uh, we'll take a look at the two of them, and hopefully they roll well. Hey, that did not roll great. But to be, if I was to be frank, hopefully this one rolls a little bit better. Uh, I'd say it's a little bit better. I think we can get higher. Let's see if we can find anything else that might be a, a roll worthy. This resistance, resistance death accuracy might not be bad. And that's perfect. We got four, <laughs> we got four rolls into uh, resistance there. So that's going to be our best rune uh, out of all the ones there. I don't think we'll be able to find anything to top that. So moving on. We're already at 63% resistance, so that's always good too. The reason why you want resistance and evasion on your supports is so they don't get CC'd so you can keep cleansing and stuff like that if you decide to use them in other content. And so they don't get auto attack to death by certain assassins and stuff like that. It makes it a little bit harder to kill them. So, And yeah, that's all the same reason why you want defense percent is because they're going to get jumped straight up. Uh, right now, this is looking like the best one, but we're going to keep looking around, see what we can find. Hmm. 
I'm not really liking any of them, so there is that. Uh, I think we're going to go with that one. Evasion and defense percent. And hopefully it goes decent. Oh, you never know. Honestly, not the worst thing ever, but also not good. Um, let's see if we can get a better roll onto like either a single defense percent rune or something like that, because that did not go well, in my opinion. This one might not be bad, but at least has some good stats. It didn't roll well. And this is kind of like what runes come down to, is just playing with them to see if you, if you can get something grinded out of it. Or a stat grinded out sometimes, so don't feel discouraged, you know. Realistically, you have low chances of it going exactly how you want. Right now, this might be looking like the best one, but I'm not sure yet. 12.2, I mean, I, this is still better. We're going to have to go with that one. Not the best rune ever, but it'll do. Uh, this one, maybe. Uh, maybe. I wish you didn't mark them that way, you knew. Eh. Attack percent accuracy? No. 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 Maybe. Sixty-three percent resistance right now. So, where's that one? This one. We're gonna give this one a try, and hopefully, it shoots a lot into defense. Shot a lot into resistance again, which and it gave it an evasion, which is not bad. We're gonna slot it for now, because I don't think that'll be beat. But you never know. It puts us at a nice eighty-two percent resistance too. So, hopefully, we can find something. But if not, I don't think that's a bad rune. Um. I would like some more defense percent. We are kind of locking on that front. But we're just not really getting anything either, if you know what I mean. Like, it'd have to be something desperate, like doing these single rolls, just, which just is not worth it, in my opinion. So I think we're actually going to keep this one. I don't see us getting anything better. You know how this turned out, too. <laughs> I thought maybe we'd get a blade rune or something, but we didn't get a blade rune. Okay, that's all right, though. So now we're going to go back to the drawing board. Let's clean this up. It just makes it easier for me when I clean it up, so that's what we're just going to do. And now that we're doing flats, we're going to look for HP percents and defense percents. Ah, oh, I'm on the wrong side, aren't I? No, we're on the right side. I don't think, I think we're going to try to avoid looking for resistance since it's already at a good number in my opinion. So then we're going to go into HP percent and evasion. Look at all these. Vision and defense percent. Now that we got some, now we got those runes sorted, get rid of that tag, apply, 
We'll start with our slot ones. Not bad so far, but I'd like to see perfect like triangle of a convenient roll or whatever, you know? So maybe we might have one. HP evasion's not bad. Uh, this one's not bad in all honesty. I really enjoy that one. Uh, we're going to go with this one first. And it rolled pretty decently, honestly. It could roll better, but right now that's probably going to be a good kicker rune. Uh, this one could also roll really, really good, so let's take a look at that one. I actually like this one better, so we'll probably go with that one. I don't think we need to sit on this one too long, because I don't think that's going to really get the... It also helps with getting that little less bit of resistance, so... Uh, this one, all right, but we could do better, I think. This is a lot better. This one's really good. If it rolls right. Nah. Nah. Maybe? Uh, this one could be really good. We'll roll this one first. A lot of defense percent, a lot of HP percent. That's not bad. Roll this one, see how this goes. Triple HP is really good. Um, it pretty much caps out our, uh, our, we'll be next to cap on our resistance. Uh, maybe. Maybe we had another HP percent, defense percent in here. Get this one, so. This one could roll really good. I actually like that a lot. So, uh, let's check between these three runes. I think the rolls were really well in all of them, so. I think we are gonna go. I think we're gonna go with this one. It has a slightly higher accuracy, although useless is still, you know, it's gonna be there. So, it happens. And then this one, let's take a look. What we got so far. Uh, so. Honestly, that's not bad. We might do that one. Right now, we're only at 35% evasion, so. You might want to prior. Uh, let's max HP these real quick. I want to see kind of where we're sitting at HP wise before I decide to, whether or not it'll be worth just going for evasion here. Because we can always grind something in later if we don't have it. But we are very far down on evasion, so... Fortunately, this is the only HP... Or, or missing HP portion of the rune, too, so... Our Lulu is a little weak. Uh, let's see if we can awaken a little bit. That way I can see what it would more look like. So, 46k right now. It's not bad. We're still missing that rune. I wish we could have it up to 60k, but this is where we're going to have to sit probably is around this region for now. It'll go up to, um, let's see. So, it gets another 6,299 too, so that's always good. So I'll be at 53k, which isn't bad, so we can probably prioritize evasion right now. Okay, so. We can get uh, HP percent, evasion, def defense percent, that'd be really good. Like an actually like, good, good one. Cause this one's not bad. I think we'll probably just go with that to save the resources, because I don't think we're gonna get anything much better. Uh, so I think we're gonna go with that. And this is what it's gonna look like when we max the other runes. And honestly, it doesn't look terrible, so. Could use a little bit more HP percent, but we actually have the evasion of not so bad on the resistance and not so bad. 
Accuracy is meh. Oops, uh, but that's how I'm going to keep the Lulu. And uh, if you guys like the video and my explanation of why I'm doing things, please, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Um, and we're currently racing uh, Baker's Good to 500 subscribers, and he's winning the lead. So every subscription helps. And uh, if you want to partake in this uh, little... Uh, Beef is, I guess, what we could call it. Uh, make sure to go to his videos and put hashtag Downs Baker, as well as uh, make sure to like his videos because we're not toxic. So thank you guys and have a good one. Later.